Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6, also 7, and the future. So this is a very, very exciting video that I get to make, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So I'm very excited about this, because Grant has said some stuff in an interview that he did on Michael Rosenbaum's podcast. Michael Rosenbaum plays Lex Luthor on Smallville, so... He runs this podcast, sometimes Stephen Amell shows up, but Grant appeared on it just recently, and things were said about what's going to be happening in the future of The Flash. So, as you know, most of the DC TV shows, most of the main stars, they're contracted for seven seasons. We know that because that's what Stephen Amell was contracted, and we're pretty sure that's the same for Melissa, Grant... I'm not sure about Legends, potentially it could be up to 7 seasons for like Katie Lots and stuff, but I'm not 100% on that. But I'm fairly sure Melissa and Grant are on the same thing, well Grant has confirmed this. So basically this last season, season 7, the next season is going to be potentially the last, however that would be if you follow the contract. That didn't happen with Arrow because Arrow went on to season 8. But they wanted to end it on season 8 because I guess they've been doing it for such a long time. Steven has a family and wanted to do some other stuff basically. But Grant has said in this interview and he talks about how there's actually been a lot of talks. And they were in heavy conversation about doing a season 8 and 9. And he literally references this. This is not us just theorizing. He said there's been talks to you know renew his contract to have a new contract for season eight and nine and i guess potentially it could go on further but what you can tell from this interview is he's not just doing this because you know he wants money or anything but you know grant is super into what he does and he loves being the flash and it really does seem like he wants to do this for a long while so i would say definitely season eight and nine could go on further than that as long as grant wants to do it the show will keep on going because it's the CW's highest rated show. They're not going to just chuck it away or something or cancel it or just end it without, you know, the permission of Grant. If Grant wants to leave, that would be when The Flash would end. So anyway, conversations were had already about moving on to a season 8 and 9 past season 7, which he is contracted to. And these talks have actually stopped just as of right now due to the virus. And this has obviously impacted The Flash as a whole a lot. So tell me guys, what do you think about this? Do you really want to see The Flash return for season 8 and 9? I think that would be the best thing. I'm so in for this. I just want it to continue on and on and on. It's obviously a big shame about Arrow, but you sort of, well, at least I accepted it because Stephen wanted to leave the show. They didn't cancel it or anything. They ended it in a good way. So if Grant ever wants to do that, I'll be fine with it. Obviously, I would miss a show like a Miss Arrow, but, you know, it's very exciting as of right now. They're definitely planning for more seasons, which is pretty much confirmed because the CW is not going to be like, no, we're not going to continue this show because it's the highest rated show. There's no point throwing it away. So, you know, Grant wants to do it. It's definitely going to happen. Basically confirmed. Anyway, so... Then in this interview, he goes on and he talks about they were set to film the final three episodes. This was obviously affected by the virus and everything, just like the conversations had stopped due to the virus regarding the further seasons. And so those final three episodes apparently may be used for season seven to lead into the storylines that they plan for next season. Because, you know, those stories would have ended this season and would have led into what would be next season so I guess it kind of makes sense if they didn't wrap up everything to have these final three episodes be like the start of the season then you get the cliffhanger they said they were going to do a big reverse flash cliffhanger and that would lead into the next season but that would just lead into the first half of the season so I would say there's no problem about that and I think Grant suggesting this I think it may be a good thing because we need to wrap up all these stories that probably don't get wrapped up because we're going to talk about the finale synopsis in just a second and it doesn't seem like much of a finale. They're happy with the way that it ends, but I don't know if it's going to be like a big finale episode like they normally are. So let's move on to talk about the synopsis for The Flash's new season finale, which is episode 19. Titled Success is Assured, you can obviously tell from this this is to do with Eva. 
I would say she's probably going to be, you know, the main threat. And I reckon Black Hole is probably going to get taken out very, very soon, if not in this episode. So the Flash season finale, this is how the synopsis goes for success is assured, which is episode 19. Barry considers a risky plan to save Iris from the Mirrorverse. Ralph attempts to stop Sue from making a grave decision that could destroy her life. So, as you can tell, seems like just a normal episode, something they were just planning to do for, you know, just heading towards the end of the season, wrapping up some stories and such. So the first bit says, Barry considers a risky plan to save Iris from the Mirrorverse. So this is a big revelation because I thought she was going to get out like next episode because that's what they've teased, but I guess it's going to be mainly to do with Godspeed. So maybe he doesn't focus, and I'm talking about Barry here, as much on finding out how to get Iris out. Maybe he's doing that as well, but, you know, this big threat that is threatening the city is sort of in the forefront of his mind. Then the next episode, which is coming out on May 12th, so not very long from now, about 12 days, so under two weeks until we have the end of the season, which is still kind of crazy that basically the season's over. It does feel incomplete, but, you know, that's not the fault of the show. That's because they're missing three episodes. So he considers this risky plan to save Iris. He's obviously figured out Iris is in the Mirrorverse. Iris is still stuck in there. She's probably trying to get out herself like she was doing this episode. You know, she's found out about everything. Eva gets out. Barry has seen how Eva actually returned to the normal world. So maybe he will get some ideas from that. And also he's seen that she's come from the mirror. And Barry knows about Singh, about Camilla and about Iris. So he actually does know she's stuck in a mirror or like some sort of other dimension. And he's probably figured out by now like where exactly she is. But he's going to have to find a way to actually go into the Mirrorverse and to get Iris out. Maybe he does actually console with blood work using, you know, a similar tactic to what Mirror Iris did to let Eva escape. Anyway, so then the next part of the synopsis, which is a bit weird because it doesn't feel like a finale, Ralph attempts to stop Sue from making a grave mistake which could destroy her life. So I guess the question was when is Sue going to return again and when is Ralph going to figure out and like sort of wrap up the story that's been going on most of the season and it just so happens to be in the now finale obviously this wasn't planned as the finale so that's why it feels maybe a little bit anticlimactic but there is some sort of end to the episode where I reckon is going to be to do with Eva and that's going to be the cliffhanger could be Black Hole is defeated then Eva's the new threat and then we have those final three episodes at the start of the season say Eva's defeated in episode 3 of season 7 and then we move into that reverse flash cliffhanger where potentially anything could happen to do with reverse flash but as of right now reverse flash is out there he is some sort of like spirit or like entity because he doesn't have a body at the moment and that is due to all the Harrison Wells being merged and Nash is like the only one as of right now as far as I can recall. It, there's been theories going around to do with Reverse Flash actually latching onto another speedster's body. So this could have some sort of link to Godspeed and what's going on next week. However, lots of theories, again, to do with a new villain for next season, which could be Red Death, could be him like taking over his body or whatever, or that could be the cliffhanger that he, you know, actually goes into someone else's body. That was a lot of people's theories. I think there is a possibility that Godspeed could return in the finale and he could take over his body essentially. I think, you know, it's very possible. So what do you think about all this and what do you think about the finale? Are you excited? It's under two weeks. That's still mad to me. But yeah, what are your thoughts on season seven actually continuing this season, wrapping it up in like episode three, then continuing on from there? Maybe next season we'll have 22 episodes as per normal, so you can have those extra few episodes that have been taken away due to, say, the end of season six being put into the start of season seven. And how long do you want to see the Flash stick around? Do you want to see it way past season nine? Do you want to see it in like 12, 13 or something? What do you think is going to happen? But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room.